Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your man Ernest Lancelot. In this video, you are going to explore San Francisco with me, guys. So many things to see and do in this exciting city in the state. Okay, so I started going to San Francisco. I flew from Regina Airport and uh, all the way from Regina Airport, we're going to Toronto. Okay, I just arrived at Toronto Airport. Guys, this is because there's no direct flight from Regina Airport to San Francisco at that moment. Okay, and uh, if you're in Saskatchewan, I think it's better you go through Calgary or Vancouver because these are shortest route to San Francisco. It's like uh, two hours there about. But from Toronto, oh my God, guys, like this was the well i wouldn't say the longest flight because i remember when i went to nigeria <laughs> but it was it was quite long guys like almost uh five hours and i was like holy gosh so don't do it when you're going there if you want to go go through calgary or go through vancouver these are shortest route and you can get there really on time so yeah wherever you are in the world and you plan to visit search for the shortest route first doesn't matter if you're flying or driving guys there is a lot to do in san francisco and weekend is obviously not enough in as much as there's, there's a lot to see and do guys there are historical and uh, icon destinations for tourists in san francisco and uh, these ones that i'm going to show you are some of those uh, icon destinations but yeah when you visit feel free to explore as many as you can Okay, let's get it started now. I just arrived San Francisco. Guys, okay, I used Uber to my hotel and it was expensive. So you can use the train or the city bus when you arrive at San Francisco International Airport, which is very cheaper for you, okay? So guys, I just arrived at my hotel, which is the West End, right in Union Square. And that's a perfect spot. I got a good deal for this hotel. So if you visit, check out Airbnb or check out for deals, okay? So you don't spend too much money on a hotel. And always, you know, getting a nice spot is always good. And uh, I went with some group of friends and it was fun. It's always good when you travel with your friends, right? And sometimes if you travel solo, it's also good but traveling with your buddies of people that you know is always good so our hotel is really nice and i love it so we all checked in and you know some vibes and we are ready to explore guys we are ready to explore let's do this first thing first guys if you're driving in the city like you rent your car and you're driving and you pack make sure you turn your wheel so turn your driver's uh, wheel can see right there in the picture right i described san francisco as a city on the hills <laughs> and guys if you don't turn your wheel you're gonna get a ticket now let's talk about one of those uh, historical and uh, iconic destinations i told us about uh, one of them is union square so that's union square right there uh, in downtown uh, so guys here yeah, stop around and uh, peek around or shop at union square if you want it holds one of the largest collections of departmental stores boutique shops your favorite designer shops uh, your salons your art galleries anything you want it's in this union square and these shops guys you don't want to miss this out even if you're not buying anything just you know take a look around and so many lives events happens here guys like you see lots of gathering and entertainment going on the square is huge and there's a lot going on in it so stop by don't miss it stop by and uh, check out this square also while you are there take a look at the famous cheesecake factory guys and you will see the beautiful and extravagant uh, design concept of this factory uh, right on the eighth floor. And yeah, it's a restaurant. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's, it's ranked as American number one uh, casual dining chain. And they have so many locations all over the state. You don't want to miss us. And in there, you can also see the top view of Union Square 
like the view it's a uh, phenomenal <laughs> yeah you know sit relax try new food i mean try something new right try new cocktails try san francisco's famous food i think they call it the sourdough <laughs> I tried it though, but not in cheesecake. I tried it somewhere in the, the, uh, the bay. But yeah, and uh, I tried the chicken wings. It was awesome. And uh, I tried a cocktail too. And this cocktail was good. So you, you have to try something. And that's the Georgia peach. Famous in cheesecake factory. All right. Let's see how this tastes. And uh, this bus right here is the best way to get around the city. So I will encourage you to use this bus. Uh, it's called a uh, Big Bus uh, San Francisco. So if you go on Google and check Big Bus San Francisco, buy the ticket. Or even if you don't want to buy it online, you can buy it right on the spot. It's a full day loop for that price. So you can always hop off at any point, you know, check out stuff that you wanted to see your sightseeing and hopping back again. So it's a really good deal, guys, and uh, I had fun riding on this uh, big bus. And yeah, look at those uh, uh, architectural design of downtown high-rise condo office. Did you see that 260 meter high Trans America Pyramid? It was uh, phenomenal. So yeah, when you're riding on this bus, you will see everything in downtown, and uh, it was it was you know it was a spectacular view to see around why riding on this bus and uh, the next location we are going to stop at it's city hall so hop off in city hall and uh, check it out uh, you know this new one was actually replaced by the old one that was destroyed by earthquake and this one is now earthquake proof guys it is one of the most extraordinary civic buildings in the united states it is home to the War Memorial Opera House, Theatres, Asian Art Museum, and the Public uh, Library of the City. The most impressive uh, feature of this building, guys, is its magnificent dome, which is, uh, you know the dome? Yeah, the one up there, 42 feet taller than the one in Washington, D.C. I was like, whoa. <laughs> guys you need to check this out okay and you will see various uh, re-golds that was used as uh, part of materials in this building guys i'm like i i literally went there and i touched them i'm like oh my god so you don't really want to miss this spot <laughs> the city hall san francisco so yeah when you hop on take a look around you know and uh, the good thing about that uh, big bus is that it has history actually like they give you an earplugs uh, that is connected to the to the bus and uh, as the bus is uh, moving it, it's telling you all the history about any historic spot yeah so guys don't forget to take your picture okay you know what I'm saying <laughs> And off we go to the next place that you also want to check out, guys, which is the San Francisco Golden Gate Park. So this park, it's uh, about 1,017 acres. Massive. Did you know it's bigger than New York City's Central Park? Oh, boy. So it has about uh, 100,000 plants from all around the globe, guys. So you really want to check out this one. It is home to California Academy of Science, Botanical Garden, Japanese Tea Garden, Shakespeare Garden, Rose Garden. You see, lots of gardens. <laughs> and the uh, annual attendance is uh, it's estimated to be like 25 million visitors. So you see, this is a very iconic uh, uh, point of uh, destination for tourists guys so don't miss out on this one so yeah when you hop off go around take a look and then hop in back and this park's uh, landscape alone it's home to 680 forested acres could you imagine just landscape and 130 acres of meadows 
15 miles of drives oh my god guys like 15 miles of drives you see how long we have to drive <laughs> in this park so it's a really nice place to stop and uh, take a look and that takes us to our next iconic spot the golden gate bridge i mean who wouldn't want to see the golden gate bridge guys <laughs> This bridge is the most photographed bridge in the world. Like if you are in San Francisco and you can't even see any other thing, the Golden Gate Bridge is worth seeing. It is one of the longest bridge in the world. Guys, did you know there is approximately 600,000 rivets in each of these bridges towers? I was like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and the bus will take you all the way to the end of the bridge and there is a bus stop at the end where no this bus will stop and you can hop off and even come back and walk around the bridge yeah there, there are people walking around it just to you know see it very well or something yeah you can take a walk around it and 30 minutes come back and uh, hop on in again and guys, the length of uh, the bridge is uh, 1.7 miles. So that's like 2.7 kilometer. So, I mean, it's quite long. I know there are other bridges that might be a little bit longer, but that's why I said one of the longest bridge in the world. It is an iconic attraction center, guys, and it is worth seeing. Although it's called the Golden Gate Bridge, the color is actually a bright red orange color and is a suspension bridge connecting San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. And that takes us to our next spot, the Bay Area. You know, basically the Riverine area. And also guys, uh, by the side, there are huge entertainment going on here. You see lots of people, it's like a massive square. <laughs> and also the water sports are going on here too as well. You see people with private cruises, private boat ride, and uh, people paddling their canoe and stuff. And while you are there, check out the aquarium of the bay you'll be amazed by this tunnel of floating fishes guys <laughs> uh, the sight of the jellyfish at the aquarium of the bay is something to behold you need a ticket to to go in though and uh, it wasn't it wasn't expensive it was 32 dollar for adult and uh, 15 dollar for kids guys they are fun to watch they, 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 you will really enjoy <laughs> watching these uh, fishes floating. And do you know that they are made of 95% water? So they don't have organs, bones, or brain, or a heart. It's fascinating. I was like, really? They're just there floating around. And uh, there are thousands of other marine lives in this aquarium including a, a number of colorful fishes, starfishes, rays, and sharks. So it's uh, definitely something that uh, you want to stop by and take a look. Hop on back to Chinatown, you know, if you like Chinese food, try some Chinese food. Or you can make your way down to the seafood restaurants. Uh, it's a, just a walking distance, so you can walk. It's called the, the San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf. It's, uh, it's also a nice uh, spot. So guys, if I give you a free ticket to san francisco would you go <laughs> let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe <laughs>